Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be making pastelon, which is a Puerto Rican dish with beef, plantain, and cheese. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe for some new cooking videos every week. I'm starting off by chopping a small onion and a small tomato and dicing that. Next I'll be heating up a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to begin adding the onions and tomatoes that I chopped up, as well as some garlic paste, which I bought at um, a Hispanic market, and it's a Peruvian brand that you will probably be able to find, but you can just use any type of garlic, minced, or paste that you prefer. I add some salt to the onions and tomatoes and let that cook for about five minutes. And in the meantime, I will be preheating my oven to 375. The onions and tomatoes continue cooking. This is the golden color you want your onions and tomatoes to look like. I'm using a 90% lean and 10% fat ground beef. Next I'm adding some adobo goya and all-purpose seasoning that adds a great flavor. So here I'm just browning the beef and chopping it up as I go. I want to make sure it's in small pieces so that it's easy to assemble the bastelon. Once my ground beef is cooked and ready, I'm just going to put it in a separate bowl and put it to the side while I slice up my plantains. I begin peeling open the plantain and then slicing the pieces into about half inch thickness. Sometimes you just gotta be old fashioned. Yeah. Once you're done slicing up the plantain, it's ready to fry them. I add oil to my pan and put a little piece of plantain, and when I see bubbles forming around them, I know the oil is hot and ready. I fry the plantains for about three minutes on each side until they're a nice golden color. And this is just an example of a cooked plantain. And here's Balto just watching me cook. Okay, that's good. Now my husband begins to add some butter onto the pan and he's just smearing that all over. And finally we begin to assemble our pastelon starting with plantains, beef, cheese, and then plantains on top. You can choose to add cheese on the top of the bastelona if you'd like. I just like to leave it so you could see the plantains. I'm choosing mozzarella cheese, but you can choose any cheese you'd like to use. My 
oven is preheated at 375 and I set a timer for 20 minutes. And then my bastelon is ready. If you've ever had this dish or one similar to it, I'd love to hear about it. Alright, well thank you for watching my video and I hope you subscribe to my channel if you'd like to learn how to cook and bake. I'd be posting a new video every Friday. Thank you. Thank you.